Of course you do. Well, I've got to ask you this question as well, because Sean Ryder and Bez, obviously, from Happy Monday, Sean Ryder's done um, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Bez yeah. has done Celeb Big Brother, because he was hilarious in that. I voted for him in that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I just wondered, have you ever been approached to do reality shows? And if so, or would you do them? I'm I've, done, I've done Soccer AM. Yeah. But it was a great, I loved that live episode. It was really good. And it all went off without a hitch in the end, didn't it? You know, no, I, I thought, thought so, I'm anyway. Sure there were a few, yeah. No, yeah. Was, the only one I did, the only thing I really picked up on, but you've got to take it with a pinch of salt, for God's sake, it was good. When Kieran Griffiths fell onto the um, car, when he sort of looked back up at the camera and he had a, um, his nose was all blooded and stuff, um, you could see that the car was inflatable, slightly. <laughs> you saw it move slightly. <laughs> and everybody put, picked up on that. And I thought, yeah. Okay, and we've got Rich Knight who says... He's a big fan. He sends his best wishes too. Uh, and he asks who... Oh, now, this is quite an interesting one, Gary, especially after what we've just been talking about. He asks, who would you think would make a good Arthur Daly and his minder if the series ever came back now? Well, she, she wasn't... She was a very tough lady. She had two difficult uh, marriages. I think there were four marriages. But one was a bit of an alcoholic. One was a gambler. Yeah. She ended up in a hotel room with uh, two boys and they were sleeping in the drawers that she pulled out oh, no. to make them into sort of little beds for them. And she fought through that. I mean, Barbara Windsor's another one, you know, tough mm -hmm. ladies. Hey, Sam just came to wish Miss Windsor good luck. And he said, well, you've done that. Now, off. Was it Ronnie Knight, I take it? It was Ronnie Knight. Ah, oh, he was an associate of the craze, wasn't he? He was, so was she. So was she, yes, I know. I've, I've read her book. <laughs> yeah, in the court, we've got <laughs> Tom Richards, who played David Palmer. Yay! 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 After that. Yes. <laughs> Ian Rawlings, who played bad boy Wayne Hamilton. <laughs> 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 Now we've got Oriana Panazzo back from the dead 34 years later after Ian murdered her in the final episode of Sons and Daughters. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Welcome back. And we've got Paul Dorber, <laughs> who was Charlie's hunky toy boy husband in the very last episode of Sons and Daughters. Yay! Hey. Um, I'm going to have to... Do you mind if I go back to Diana Ross a minute? I don't mind at all. <laughs> um, because I always think, it's not to be controversial here, um, but I always think there's room to... In building an artist up, you don't need to knock another artist down. There's a lot of Supremes fans and lots of myths out there now, and lots of people have their favourite Supremes. It still goes on to this day. Um, um, do you think there's been a lot of finger-pointing at Miss Ross and... Do you think she's had an unfair time of it? Because she did have a, a lot of bad press run at one point. I, I do. I do. I, I do think there's been a lot of things. My thing on Diane is that uh, she's aggressive. She's always been aggressive and forward. Had it been a man, that's what he would be. But being a woman, she's a bitch. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I admire her so much for where she's been and what she's done and what she's come through and who she is today. That's just my personal thing on her. But when I, when I look at her and see, I mean, she had some missteps like everybody. She's human. Yeah. Uh, but I, I definitely admire the lady, uh, what she's accomplished. Thank you. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Claude